At the last ice age, the Antarctic ice sheet was much thicker and much more extended than it's today. And when global temperature um, rose, um, the ice sheet retreated and um, it retreated very fast. Fast means here uh, something like 1000 kilometers in thousand years, which is on geological time scales really, really rapid. So in our study with our colleagues from the US, we found that this retreat um, did not occur rather pr progressively, but it stopped at some point and even reversed. We wanted to understand the mechanism behind our finding, and it turned out that the Earth's crust plays a major role in this mechanism. Imagine the relief of the Earth's crust when the ice sheet retreats and massively thins. It lifts up by a couple of hundred meters and actually triggers the regrowth of the ice sheet. And this finding is backed up by three lines, independent lines of evidence. So we have ice sheet modeling, we have evidence from radar structures in ice rises on the Weddell Sea side, and we have sediment data um, on underneath the ice sheet on the Ross Sea side, where the remains of um, sea creatures um, were found. And the only explanation um, is actually that the ice sheet um, retreated beyond its present day location and regrew from this um, state to what we observe today. The regrowth of the Antarctic ice sheet that we observed happened over the last 10,000 years. So this is a rather slow process. Facing the rapid warming that we've observed over the last 100 years or so, um, will not is happen so fast that this effect will not help us to stabilize the ice sheet from a potential collapse. And such a collapse um, could lead to several meters of sea level rise over the next hundreds of years and it was, would affect many people around the globe. So the only uh, chance we have is a rapid reduction of fossil fuel emissions as soon as possible.